guys welcome to or welcome back to my channel it is officially valentine's day which i know some people don't really care about valentine's day but it's really one of my favorite holidays if it's even considered a holiday i've always loved valentine's day because it's right around my birthday and it also just has all of my favorite colors and hearts so i absolutely love valentine's day and i thought i would vlog today because I feel like I haven't done a vlog in so so long but I absolutely love doing vlogs so definitely comment down below if I should do more vlogs like this but I thought I would take you guys along with me. I am all Valentine's Day ready. I have on my love sweater and my little pink headband and let me tell you the makeup is makeuping today it came out so good i'm so excited usually when i have places to go my makeup looks like absolute trash but today i feel like it looks really good so i'm gonna take y'all along with me it's gonna be so much fun but let's hurry up and go because i feel like today is just gonna be a super fun day Okay, so we made it inside and we just went straight to playing games because I could not contain my excitement. I felt like a little kid. I used to come to these arcades all the time when I was little. And we started off by playing this Pac-Man game, which I am not the best at, but me and my boyfriend tried our best and it was just so fun to play this together. These arcade places are probably one of my favorite places to go, so I'm so happy that my boyfriend took me here for our Valentine's Day date. The controls on this game were kind of bad and it was kind of hard to control it and film at the same time. The next game we played was Dual Jump and my boyfriend accidentally filmed it the wrong way but it's okay he's still learning and I'm just so grateful that he wanted to film for me. But I used to play this game on my phone all the time. If you're an OG then you already know. I actually got a lot farther than I thought I was and I was really impressed with myself. And I was so excited because I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to get the bonus. And then this freaking happened. The next game we played was this little emoji game. I've never seen this before, but I thought it was like a cool concept. You have to basically hit all of the little emojis to get this little prize. And we played this nonstop until we got the little prize. I can't even remember how many of our points that we used, but we ended up getting the ball and we were both so excited. Next was this minion game and basically you have to land it on the win card slot to get a card and we ended up getting a lot of the cards and we were so excited for each other. The next game we played was Flappy Bird, but my boyfriend ended up dying super early. Oh no! But y'all already know, Flappy Bird is also such an OG game for me. I used to play this all the time in elementary school before it got like deleted off the app store. Next, my boyfriend wanted to play this little cup pong game, which I thought looked really fun. So he went first and he was actually doing really, really good. I was really impressed. And then I wanted to go next and I wasn't expecting myself to be so good at this game. I just think I have a lot of practice from always going to the arcades. But this game was so much fun and I actually ended up hitting all of the cups. I was so excited. Ooh, nice. 
Last one. Oh, you did it. That's all of them. This is my boyfriend's favorite game. He always plays it when we go to a arcade place and he's actually really good at it. He always hits it in the center and I don't know how nice. he's so good. It kind of scares me. Then my boyfriend wanted to play this game. I can't remember the name of it, but I just remember he was so freaking good at it. I was so impressed. I don't even know where he learned how to do this, but he was so good. Then he wanted to try it again, and this time he did even better than the first time. Oh my god! Oh my god! What the? And then we went to go do skee ball. I feel like this is just a game that you always have to play when you go. It's just a tradition. And I'm not very good at skee ball as we can see, but I tried my best. Oh, you did it. Is that it? Oh. Oh, it says one credit. Oh. I kind of like all the games where you have like targets to hit as we can tell so I tried this ring toss game and I was okay at it but this one was super fun to play as well. And then another tradition you always have to do is play the basketball game. I don't care what anyone says, this one is just a game that you have to play every time. And my boyfriend absolutely loves basketball, so he wanted to do this one and he did so good. This is one of my favorite games. I have to play this every time we go. I don't know why I love it so much, but I promise you this is not sped up. I just really like this one and I've gotten pretty good at it. And I actually ended up making the leaderboard. I was pretty proud of myself. Y'all already know we had to play Subway Surfers. They have a bunch of like the old phone apps converted into arcade games, which I thought was really fun. So we played Subway Surfers and this is me going. I did okay. And then my boyfriend went and you can just tell that this man spent lots of time playing subway surfers because he was so good like where did he learn how to do all these tricks i didn't even know you could do that in the game
We played this fishing game which we both had never heard of before. You basically just catch fish with this little fishing pole and I was really bad at it. But my boyfriend caught a whole freaking shark. So we were just both fishing and it was just a lot of fun. Next, I played Guitar Hero, which I absolutely love Guitar Hero. I just remember playing it with my sister and my dad all the time. So every time I see Guitar Hero at an arcade, I always play it. And I'm not the best at it. I always have to play on easy mode, but I love Guitar Hero so much. And then the last game we played was this little clown knockdown game. I love playing this one too. I don't know, I'm telling y'all, just games where I have to hit a target is like my favorite type of games to play. And then after that, we were just super tired and decided to go to the ticket booth and try to spend our tickets. Okay, so we just got done at Dave & Buster's. We were literally there for like four hours just playing a bunch of games. It was so much fun. I ended up getting this little octopus guy because this is me and my boyfriend's favorite colors together. And then we also won this like little ball thing. And I also got some gummy bears. We had like a bunch of tickets, but I forgot to film the little prize lobby thing, but it was booty. There was nothing good, so. That's what I got. I'm not sure what we're doing next, but I'll keep y'all updated right now. I'm really hungry, so we're probably gonna go get something to eat. And we decided to go home and make some Valentine's Day treats together.
and then we decided to make some hawache basically all you need is some fruit strawberry milk some jello and also sprite i had been seeing this all over tiktok and i thought it was so perfect to make for valentine's day it's just the cutest little pink drink and i wanted to try it so bad forgot to show y'all what my boyfriend got me for valentine's day slash our anniversary our anniversary is on the 12th so we kind of just celebrate it all together he made me this really really cute basket and i wish i would have taken a picture of it but i didn't but it had like cute little notes in it and it had candy and just all of the cute little valentine's day stuff and then he made me like he made this he bought all of this separately and like hot glued it together it just has a little snow globe on it because i collect snow globes and he said this is supposed to be me and him as a bird and then it just says happy fourth anniversary and this is probably my favorite thing that he gave me because this is just so sweet and i love it so much and then i am very spoiled by him so he took me to my favorite jewelry store and the first thing i got was two charms to put on my charm bracelet one of them was on back order so we had to go ahead and order it but here's what it looks like and then the second one he got me is this little baseball hat one which i love this one he's always wearing hats so i thought this one would be perfect for us and then this is just like what <laughs> he got me this beautiful ring and it has diamonds in the center i literally feel like a princess when i wear this i absolutely love it and i'm never going to take it off ever but yeah that is what he got me for our four year anniversary and i am so so thankful and i love him so much okay so i fell asleep before i got to try all of my goodies so i put the little hawache in this little pink thing so we're gonna try it it's very interesting i will say that it's not bad it's actually pretty good but i just don't know if i'd make it again but this is like the prettiest valentine's day drink so i love this but very interesting and then i just put my little cookies in a bag so we're gonna try it first of all they came out so cute i love them let's try it now that's a cookie all right guys but that is gonna close out the valentine's day vlog today i just want to say thank you guys so so much for watching and definitely let me know in the comments down below if you would like me to make more vlogs but I just want to say I love you all so, so much, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye!